Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. So guys, Ace Money here. Uh Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. All you sons, tell your mothers happy Mother's Day. All right, we got uh, my New York Knickerbockers versus the Pacers, uh, 3.30 game. Trying to get this video done, so get a couple hours to soak out there. All right, I got Halliburton. We played this last game, uh, first quarter over five and a half. I think uh, points, I think they're going to come out the same way. Halliburton's going to be aggressive. Um, he has to be. You know, they won last game with that lucky little three-pointer. Yeah, I'm biased, but uh, that's what happened. That's the truth. Guy didn't hit a shot all day. We lost on his bet, too. We played points and assists. I should have just played assists like I did the game before. Dude shot like one for seven. The one I didn't need him to hit. But, uh, yeah, so... Hal Burns been going over this pretty easy. Um, first quarter props, I like to do half unit. If you're betting, my unit size ain't that big, so I do a little more than half unit. That's sounding crazy. But uh, if I put this on, I could show only home games. He's easily gone over this. So, yeah, he should go over this. I'll play it again. Halliburton, first quarter points over five and a half. All right, pick number two. Going with a couple first quarter props here. We got uh, Turner, under four and a half first quarter points, minus 120. DraftKings. FanDuel's got it at almost minus 150. Make sure you line shop. Um, last four games, he's got under this. Seven out of ten, he's got under this. He's playing uh, about eight minutes. I think uh, they're going to stick to the game plan. Halliburton's going to be aggressive. That's why I played him and his over. Uh, and these guys are going to continue to go under this. You know, a lot of people don't play unders. They got a lot of lines pretty high, so uh, I've been playing them. It's my first time playing Turner, but uh, I believe he's going to go under. Just to the home games. Last three home games, he's gone under. He's kind of had a good number. Four and a half means he needs three baskets. So, uh, yeah, I got Miles turn on the four and a half. It's Raptor. Dude's all right, but, uh, man, it's sloppy, too. I noticed last game. Um,. Under four and a half, first quarter points. Got it at minus 130 right now on DraftKings. Excuse me. Um, He's been going under this. Shit, two, four, five, six. Six out of the last seven. Uh, same thing I said before. I believe Halliburton is going to be trying to go crazy, get off hot. Uh, last four home games, he's gone under this. He's averaging still around eight minutes. So played seven the last two games. He's failed to exceed four and a half points. And uh, there's a thing on the screen I could see, but you guys can't, and it blocks what it says down here four and a half points and five of the six last 
play his games. So I, uh, I believe he's going to go under. I mean, they ain't all going to go over. There ain't no way that's happening. Siakam uh, and Turner. So hopefully I, I figured this out. And uh, Halliburton goes over. And these two guys go under. Head to head, he's got under this 100%. All right. Siakam under four and a half, first quarter. Half unit, guys. Half unit. And ladies. Before I get into this next play, if you could like the video for these new viewers, subscribe please if you haven't already. Turn the notifications on. I like to drop a lot of live bets. Sway and drop them in my community. You get them right away. You got to get them fast and get them out there. A lot of these numbers are pretty high, so uh, when the games start, they drop them as well as play and miss a couple shots, they drop them or. You just find a good play. I'm pretty good at it. Um, yeah, so I appreciate the people who have. As well as if you could comment, could write anything. It helps get the video out there. I prefer some feedback, some interaction. You know, I don't get paid for these videos. The only thing I ask is if you could like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I appreciate you. All right, on to the Knickerbockers. I'm going with Hartenstein. I've been playing this for a while. Uh, he did not hit it last game. They lowered it down a little bit. It doesn't really matter. It's still at the point where he, I think it was at three last time. But uh, and they got it up to plus money right now. He's been scoring pretty decent last game. He went on, a little under on his points. Uh, he's hit this... Four out of the last five, six, uh, five out of the last seven. He's exceeded two and a half points in four of his last five games. It's a little two baskets. He does a little shuffle, a little push shot. But, uh, yeah, for the Knicks, I believe the Knicks are going to win. I'm biased. I'm a New Yorker, but uh, they need to get Hardenstein going early. With Robinson and Ananobi being out, he's getting more minutes again. Um, they put Sims in last game, and, you know, I'm not blaming him. He's, he's He doesn't have that many minutes, and he's young, but he messed up a couple times. I I don't think he's going to get that many, get to, see, get to see the court that much today. But, yeah, we got Hartenstein over two and a half first quarter points plus money. All right, for this next play, I'm going Alec Burke. Uh, over eight and a half points. Got that even money. DraftKings right now. Um, went over this last game. He hasn't been playing very many minutes at all. Except now that Ananobi's hurt, they've been uh, putting him in the rotation. And he went over this last game with 14 I could uh, adjust his minutes so to games that he played at least 23 minutes he's gone over this well there was two games 20 minutes down here and 21 right here he's gone over this I'm just trying to get ahead of this before he starts playing a couple games and the books catch up. I don't think he's going to go over it by much. Uh, he had two threes last game. Uh, he was in the Knicks a couple years ago when they were in the playoffs. He had some good minutes out there. Uh, they're gonna, Knicks are going to need him to go to, to score a couple, contribute. I believe he's going to go over this. He got him eight and a half. Uh, yeah, on to the next one. Alec Burke, points, eight and a half. Go, New York. Go, New York. All right. Next up, we got Deuce, Miles McBride. Over eight and a half points. Um, went over this last game. A lot better that we cashed it. He's getting some more minutes again. Uh 
when he shortened his minutes, he, he just wasn't in rhythm. He was messing up a little bit. He was off, had a couple bad games. Uh, he really is a good shot. He's a good three-point shot. Um, if he plays like he like he's able to, he's going to go over this. You know, he's getting put into the rotation now. They've been doing pretty well together. I think he's still going to he's going to get like 20 minutes and uh he should go over this. He should get around like 12 or he could go off and get 20. He's that type of player. But uh yeah, I believe if he's he's going to continue up. I think the Knicks are going to have a bounce back and, and and win this win this game as well. So, yeah, that's Miles McBride, points eight and a half. We got Josh Hart. They actually dropped his points, and then I, they got that plus money, but then I alt-lined it back. Definitely alt-line whatever you can. Uh, if you got a bigger unit size, alt-line it back even further. Any play, for that matter, increases your odds to hit. If you haven't noticed, the book's always right on the money. That's why we hook a lot. So if you were able to alt-line it, it increases your odds to hit. As well as the odds right here, you see minus 130. There's a percentage that uh, that actually means that that's going to hit. Um, there's, always, there's a link in my bio or, or in my description that you can click on. It, it gives you the percentages. So check them out. Uh, Josh Hart over 14 and a half points. He didn't go over this last game. They're going to need him to go over this. Uh, you know, he had a little bit of off game. But he, obviously he's getting plenty of minutes. He's shooting 50% from the field, 40, 43% from, from three-point. He didn't put up that many shots last game. But uh, he's going to have to. They need him Brunson needs help. You know, the Machenzo can't be the only one scoring. Knicks only got seven, eight guys in their rotation. They're all going to need to contribute. They're going to contribute. These guys all played together in college. These three, Hart, the Machenzo, and uh, Brunson. So, uh, and they don't like losing. Who does, right? So they're going to come out. He knows he has to play better. He's going to be more assertive. He might go over this by halftime. We got Hart over 14 and a half points. Minus 130. Make sure you line shot. Check out them odds. All right, here comes MPJ, Michael Porter Jr. Over 16 and a half points. Uh, I believe they lowered it a little. I think it was at 18 and 17. He's capable of 25. Uh, he's been going over this 21 last game. He had an off game the game before. But as you see, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the last eight games, he's gone over this. Drew Kambal, uh I was going to play his threes as well. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, I decided not to, but uh, most of his points are three-pointers. So uh, he's shooting 50% from the field, 44 from three-point. Uh, they got his threes at two and a half. He had four last game. He's, as you see, he's at four, five, four. So he goes over this mostly. Um, I decided to stick with his field goals, with his regular points, just because uh, he's been going over it. You know, it's playoff time. He turns it up. He did it last year. He's a good play. He's tall. He shoots over these guys. Uh, Nuggets are back in action. For the year, he's almost 60% going over this. So, last five, 80%. Head to head, 60%. But, yeah, Nuggets are back in action. You know, they had a bad game, a couple bad games. And, obviously, uh... Their point guard was hurt, his knee and stuff. I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. But um, and then in the media, it started brainwashing me, thinking the Nuggets were trash. Like, like no, uh, they're not. 
But uh, I'm not saying they're going to win. It's a possibility they can lose. But they got a decent team and a couple decent players. So I faded them last game. I should have played it. I would have won. But, yeah, we got Porter Jr. Easily going to go over this. 16 and a half points. All right, for this last play, I'm running with Mike Conley over nine and a half rebounds and assists, 108. DraftKings and FanDuel right now. He's hit this four in the last five. Four to the last five. He's gone over this, averaging 11.4 rebounds and assists per game. Uh, he's been doing well. You know, uh, you can do his PRAs. Uh, adds, adds about 10. I think it's at 18. So, last game he didn't have 10 points. I think he had 10 points. But, uh, it might make it a little easier to go over this. I just feel like in case he doesn't score as much. And, uh, he's still going to get his rebounds and assists. The ball finds him. As well as he's the orchestrator. He finds the other people. So, uh, yeah, Mike Conley rebounds and assists. He's, his potential assists are uh, are up there, almost 10. 10 potential assists a game, and just about 7 re uh, rebound chances a game. So, I mean, he got 6 rebounds last game, but he's averaging 4, plenty of minutes. 30 minutes a game. But yeah, uh, it's a little something to remember. Sports betting is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You're going to have some days that you don't win. It happens. You know, human error. Misjudging the game. Uh, anything can happen. Injuries. Or you can just have a have an off night. So uh, keep them unit sizes the same. Don't jockey your amounts. That means you unit size the size of your bet. You know, I'm betting $30 a unit. So keep it the same. This way, you know, good days or bad days, win or lose, it stays the same. Um, stay consistent. And like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Thank <laughs> you.